Good eatings, this is a short video on some homemade battery chargers. <clears throat> Basically these are just some plastic racks that I had that I put solar cell tabbing wire. <clears throat> That's the positive running all the way along the top and the negative one there. So I'm, I'm charging, these are from my electric bike battery which I'm trying to fix. So these had gone faulty. Uh, so yeah, the, the this charger here and this crappy power supply are actually running this bank here Which is just a real bodged same thing with the wood uh, And the solar tabbing wire running from the positive here and the negative here and that's <coughs> Just charging all those What one thing I wanted to say is about dumb chargers you can make a dumb charger using a power supply like this one here and now this is 5.2 volts so it's a bit too much but as long as you monitor it it's okay <clears throat> so these were effectively ruined they were at uh, 0.5 so now they're at 3.9 this is a little gizmo I got off the internet from China which is actually pretty cool so these aren't being charged at the moment what I'm doing is I'm um, just running it <coughs> Uh, this rack and then that rack and just uh, trying to get as many good batteries as I can. This is a 1.5 amp 12 volt power supply which has seen better days. Uh, you can use any power supply with these IMAX chargers. I can use this one uh, 15 volt but bear in mind that's only 7.5 watts so if you were to be using more than 7.5 watts on here, like at the moment, that's theoretically using, <coughs> excuse me, 8.3 watts. So it's pushing two amps at 4.13 volts, so 8.26 watts. Uh, so yeah, this will only produce uh, seven and a half. So you'd only be able to run sort of one amp, four volts, or half an amp, <coughs> eight volts. But anyway, it's useful. So yeah, get yourself one of these chargers and any power supply that is over 12 volts, preferably 12 volts, uh, 1 to 1.5 and amps. And then build yourself some of these racks and basically the jobs are good. So yeah, if you've got any questions, email me. This was 3 quid off eBay. Uh, solar tabbing wire, you can get it for five or a roll. Just use any bits of wood or whatever to squeeze them together. Wood with screws in is what I've done there. Uh, to squeeze them together and then just remember, don't leave them on charge while you're out. And don't charge them over 4.2 volts. So if you're using a dumb charger which is over 4.2 volts, then make sure you keep a very good eye on it and get yourself one of these. You can see what it's doing at all times. Peace.